Petite, no hem jeans and sweaters. That's what we're talking about today. I love when I find some great petite jeans that have the right inseam to where I do not need to have them hemmed. And who doesn't love pairing jeans and sweaters together? So I've got a lot to show you. Let's dive right in. When I first started out on this quest to find perfect petite jeans that did not need to be hemmed, I ordered four or five different pair. And all were good except there was one fail so i guess i'll share the fail with you too but we'll start with the really good ones so one of my favorites was this pair by j crew it is the slim straight leg let me show you what the color denim is like i find it very flattering i'm wearing it in a 24 petite i love the fit i love where it hits right above the ankle just a great flattering length especially I, I find for petite when you can show a little bit of sliver of skin with a slim straight leg between the end the bottom hem and your shoe it just makes you look a little bit more tall so these are a great fit and a great find if you're new i want to say welcome my name is michelle i'm thrilled that you're here i love creating videos each week on youtube i also have a platform over on instagram and it's the same handle poise petite have the same handle on Pinterest and my LTK shop. Anywhere you look, Poise Petite, that's where you're gonna find me. But I am five feet tall, uh, five zero. I weigh about 98 pounds. I usually wear um, a petite extra small or a zero petite, and depending on the brand. And yeah, I love to just make videos about fashion and beauty and skincare and lifestyle and all the things like that. So. If you are not already subscribed, please tap the subscribe button. I would love to get you know to get to know you a little bit better here through YouTube. The second pair I'm showing you is from Talbots, and this is the slim ankle jean. And let me show you the color up close. So it does have some sort of whisking right here and a little bit of faded right here, but I love the fit. Very comfortable, sits right below my waist. I'm wearing them in a zero petite. And let me tell you, so this style comes in uh, regular and curvy. So depending on what you want, this is not the curvy style. I actually do own the curvy pair as well. And I like these better. I am sh curvy in shape, but I'm not real, real curvy. So this was a better fit for me. So just if you have a little bit fuller hips, you may want to go with that curvy style. Um, if not, this one is, is a great style. Very flattering and very comfortable to wear. The third pair I'm sharing with you are from J. Jill. They are, again, a size zero petite. Love the fit. As a matter of fact, I'm wearing them right now. So let me see. There you go. Really, really cute. They are a little bit more faded than the first two that I showed you, but the fit is very similar. I love, again, where it hits right above the ankle, and it's just a good fit. I did find with these, as I go throughout the day, they do stretch a little bit, but it's not too much. They don't bag or, or anything like that, but they do stretch out a little bit through the day. So with that being said, if you're in between sizes, I would size down. Uh, because of the stretch out. So there's that. Love these. Great inseam. Great fit. Comfortable. This pair of jeans is from White House Black Market. I'll give you a close-up look. So it, again, it has the whisking here and a little bit faded right here. These are, okay, I ordered these slim straight. I ordered these in a double zero petite. Mistake. That's what you're seeing on me is the double zero petite. I love the fit, but they're too tight. And so I think I'm gonna exchange these. I like them and I want to keep them, but I'm not gonna wear them that tight. So I think I'm gonna exchange these for a zero petite and I'll probably be a lot happier with the fit. I love, again, where it hits me right above the ankle. Now, out of the ones that I'm showing you so far, this is the slimmest cut like through the thigh area almost to the point where I was like, hmm, is it too snug? I don't think it's too snug, but it is definitely more snug through the thigh area than the J. Crew, the J. Jill, and the Talbots. So just FYI on that, but lots of really good stretch, but not stretch out on this. 
the Itty Bitty Bootcut Jean. This has been a long time favorite of mine. I love it. Now, I love that it is slim through the leg and that it has that little flare at the bottom. I think it makes your legs look so long and you know I'm five feet zero so I'm not tall but I think I look tall wearing these jeans so I love that they do have a good amount of stretch to them and they run slightly big so I would say size down one size to get the perfect fit now I'm calling these a no hem jean but I am wearing it's a two and a half inch heel I think two and a half or three inch but then I, I can't wear these with flats. I would have to hem them if I wore them with flats. But I like wearing that little bit of a flare with a heel because I think it just makes your leg look that much longer when you have a heel, especially a pointed toe heel like you're seeing on me right here. I love that look. So it is a no hem for me if I'm gonna wear heels, but if I were going to wear flats, I would have to have them hemmed. Here is the epic fail. I hate to show anything negative, but we want to keep it real here, right? So I ordered these from Gap, and I thought, ooh, that's just going to be a good dark wash, uh, straight leg, you know, just, just that good basic dark rinse jean. Well, I ordered them in a, let me make sure I'm telling you this right, this is a double zero, yeah, a double zero petite. I couldn't even get these all the way on. <laughs> And when I struggled to get them on, there was no way they were going to zip. And so I was like, well, dang, these are not good. But that wasn't the, I mean, I could order them in another size. But I don't know if you can tell, I don't like that look in denim. I don't know, it looks kind of, I wish you could see the fabric up close. But it looks a little cheap and look gap's not cheap I, I like gap the gap's not cheap it just looks kind of cheap i don't know it was a fail for me i am not going to keep these i'm going to be returning them uh, and i do not wish to get a different size because like i said i don't even like the way that they look even if they were the right size now we're going to talk about sweaters so this is the first one that we're talking about i love this i think it's so cute with all the ski stuff on here. Now this is a Lewin Gray, super, super soft. If you're not familiar, Lewin Gray is carried at Loft, that's where I got it, and they sometimes carry petites. They do a little bit, but not in their full line of Lewin Gray. This is not a petite. This is an extra small, and I love it. It has, see how it has the slits right here, and then the straight across. It's quite roomy, but I just, it's one of those for me, oversized, cozy, soft, love it type sweater. I love fuchsia and orange together. I just think it's such a fun combination. So I was automatically drawn to this sweater because of that. I thought, oh, that is just a pop of happy right there. Love it. This is not in a petite. This is an extra small. You can see how it fits. I love it. It's pretty true to size, I would say. The shoulders are good. You know, it's not too uh, big or too tight through the, the middle here. And I just think it's a happy, fun sweater. It is soft. It is, I would say, medium thick. Like, it's not real thin and it's not uber thick, but it's sort of right there in the middle. Love it, love it, love it. And it comes in extra small through... I think double XL, but I'll have to check. I'll put it here on the screen for you. I love pairing an oversized sweater with leggings and boots or loafers or booties or something like that. And this is the perfect one. I'm wearing this in an extra small. It is not petite, but I like the way that it fits. And I like it because it covers the bum so I can wear leggings and feel comfortable with it. I just love the color and it's very inexpensive. It's under $30 from Amazon. So a great win on this one. The color just looks fall to me. It just, and it's, it's soft. It's not scratchy or itchy. I like the neck on it. I think that that's just cozy and warm looking and I, don't, I can't say enough good. I love it. And it comes in several other colors. When I first saw this sweater, I thought, I have to get that. It is too cute. It has the different color pom-poms on it. 
just darling, and I love that it's short sleeve and white. It's just a dainty little pretty sweater, and it's not too thick at all. Just, it's just fun. It's just fun, and it goes with so many things. You could pair this with blue jeans. You could pair this with any color pant or skirt. It's just fun. I'm wearing it in a small, and it comes in small, medium, and large. So there's that. It's just really, I keep using the word fun, but it's, it's a fun sweater. There's something so special about a black, elegant sweater for holiday season. The bodice of this one is, is plain. It's a plain black sweater, but then the sleeves are drapey chiffon ruffle. They're so, so pretty. It's just, it's elegant. It's, you know, when you move your arm around or it's just pretty, just very special, very pretty. And I love an all black look for a holiday party or something like that. It's just really, really pretty. Now, let me tell you this, I'm wearing it in a double zero, which is a Chico sizing, which is different than everybody else in the world. So Chico sizing is the uh, double zero is like a, like a, an extra small, the zero is a small and, and so on and so forth. So I'm wearing it in double zero and it runs very big. So if you're in between sizes, Definitely size down one, but I just think it's one of those elegant pieces. This sweater is a very beautiful color and it is part silk and it's super soft and I love it. I love the v-neck. You can certainly wear it on its own as you're seeing here, but I've also worn this with a chambray top underneath it. Very, very cute with that blue against the sort of tobacco color. I've also worn it with a white t-shirt underneath, very cute. You could do a white turtleneck, you could do a black turtleneck, you could do a black t-shirt, a white button-down shirt. It's so versatile. That tobacco color is just, I find, very, very easy to wear. I'm wearing this one in a, gosh, I can't remember if it's a small or extra small. I will look and I will definitely put it in the notes for you. And by the way, everything that I share with you that you see will be listed in the description box down below with the clickable link for you to shop. And then I take that information and I pin it to the first comment. So it makes it really easy to find there. This is a very unique sweater because I'm showing it here without the cowl neck, but it actually has a detachable cowl neck that buttons in the back and then it's just a regular cowl neck. I love that. I love mop necks or cow necks with sleeveless. I just think it's the unexpected. It's not what you would normally see. And I love the look. I think it's very pretty. Now, let me tell you this. I'm wearing this in a small, a petite small. It's big. I wish I had ordered an extra small. I got it thinking that I would like it being a little bit oversized, but it's really too oversized for my liking. I would have much preferred the extra, the petite extra small, but it's very, very cute. This sweater should look familiar because I've shown it to you before in navy and it's sold out. This sweater is so popular every year it sells out. So. I ordered the green one because I just love it. I love it. I love the bell sleeves. I love, it's real boxy. You can wear it untucked or you can do a little front tuck, but I love the green color. It looks so holiday to me, so rich. And I would say it's a medium thickness in a sweater. I'm wearing it in an extra small and it fits good through the shoulders. Of course, it's very roomy through here because it's a boxy fit. It's supposed to be, but Love it, love it, love it. It comes in several colors, and if you like this style, do not wait, because they always sell out of all the colors. So, isn't this one just fun? I thought this was really, really cute. So, this sweater is actually very thin. It's uh, very, you could wear this on a summer evening. It's just, uh, I love a thin, lightweight sweater, because you can always layer underneath it. You can put a chambray top underneath it. You can put a turtleneck underneath it. It's just very versatile, but I love this. I, just the amour, I thought that's cute, that's fun. I don't, you know what I start to say? I don't usually do a lot of graphic words, or and then I hear I am with words on my shirt. But I usually don't do words on shirts. It's very rare. It's kind of funny that I have two in one video. But I just think that this is cute. Classic, white and navy, kind of fun, casual kind of look. So thought I would put that in there too. 
This screams elegance to me. I love it. It is a black simple bodice sweater, but then the lace detailing is exquisite. It is just exquisite. It is one of those pieces where you just go, whoa, that is very cool. And again, like the chiffon sleeve one I showed you, you know, when you're moving your arm around and stuff, it just sort of, I don't know, it's, it's elegant, 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 I love it. Now, this one, it zips, it has a short zipper, like this long, up the back to zip it up, and it runs big through the body. So I would say if you're in between sizes, size down. Um, I mean, you can wear it still full, but it does, it does run really big through the bodice. And again, this is the Chico sizing, so I'm wearing it in a double zero, and that's equivalent to an extra small. The two-tone detailing on this really caught my eye. I love neutrals. A camel color sweater is just beautiful. The mock neck. But when I saw the detailing of the blue on the sleeves, it, and the, it was just really a fun little extra. You know, it just made it a little bit more special, a little bit more elevated. This one is not a petite size. It is an extra small and it fits nicely. I love it. It is um, a little bit roomy through the, the middle, but not, not like the green one I showed you. It's not that roomy, it's not that boxy. It's a little bit more fitted than that. But I just thought it was special because of the, the blue detailing and just a comfortable casual sweater. We're rounding things off here with a blue cardigan. Now I have it styled as a sweater and not a cardigan, just all zipped up, but you can wear it a number of different ways. When I was in Colorado a couple weeks ago, I had a turtleneck under it and you know I zipped it up or I unzipped it if I got a little bit warm, but it's a very versatile piece and it comes in several colors. I'm wearing this in a petite, small, fits great. Love the fit. So that is it for the day. Thank you for spending part of your day with me. It means so, so much. And if, like I said, if you are not part of the family already, I invite you to tap that subscribe button and that way you won't miss any videos. I make videos once a week here on YouTube and I would love to see you again next week.